a belting, am I right? Obviously so, um, you know, like pum 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 and and shwa shwa shwa. This is this is the technical terms of how it is. I am I am not enough apparently. I am not on par, so that's great. <laughs> oh shut up! Oh I love that. Okay. Another day, another doctor's appointment. <laughs> It's oh, what is the date? Tuesday. I have been so busy today, it is ridiculous. Um, I feel like I've been working like a gajillion things at once, which is not great. You should not do that because at the end of it, you feel all jittery and like me now. <laughs> but I have washed my hair finally. I wish I would do this really bloody annoying thing where it just gets cold in the middle and I just stand in the little corner there waiting for it to go back hot. Very annoying. I am brewing a little potion called soup. <laughs> I'm very irrationally excited about having soup again. I just feel like I haven't had soup in way too long and soup makes me happy. It's a comfort food. We all we all know, right? For that, adulting, am I right? <laughs> but um, also Logan is coming back from like a faraway place that he was working today and he's gonna be all really tired and really cold because it's like, really chilly today outside so I'm gonna run him a bath and then he can enjoy that. So I'll show you the bath bomb. <laughs> That's exciting. I always love watching that, but um, I don't always love to take a bath. I know it's weird. I got this from Cauldron Crate. I've seen them do uh, mugs with the grim inside of them, you know, like from the third book and movie. And I absolutely had to order one separately just because I need it in my collection. Um, and I actually ordered their uh, next crate to check it out because I don't know the subscription box myself. I don't know uh, what they are about, but I do know that I think they are UK based, which is rare. I think I've never tried any other UK based subscription box other than Geek Gear, and it would be lovely to see what the competitors have to offer. Um, so I ordered one and I ordered also the advent calendar. So you guys look out for that if you want to see what they can offer. It will be both of us <laughs> judging it together. Oh, it's cool. Like it's packaged like that. Excited. It comes with a mug and a saucer, and it was, I think, 14 pounds, either 14 or 18, which actually is not that bad for a bespoke type of replica. But I really like it. I just like the size of it. It's actually really big, really wide, and this is how it looks like inside. On here it says, My dear, you have the grim, and then you can. Put it here and how cool does that look like? Also wanting to go for a candle I'm gonna go for the sorting hat. There's like this crumble thing on top. I don't know if I'm supposed to just like burn through that, but I think the wick is pretty deep. So I'm gonna pour this out. So this is how it looks like now. And then I'll light it and I'll see what house I become. Um, I used to make sorting candles. So this is really fun for me to actually like experience one. I also got perfectly popped popcorn and the book and I also put Skyrim soundtrack on. So let's do this.
either Gryffindor or a Hufflepuff. I'm not sure. I'll wait for it to like solidify, I think. Hey guys, it is Wednesday? Thursday, Thursday. It's Halloween actually. Happy Halloween if you celebrate it. I don't really, I come from a country that celebrates kind of the day before, more so, uh, I mean currently probably Halloween, but and then I did the whole like drinking while dressing up at uni thing and now I'm just kind of like, eh, you know, it's fine. But I'm just taking a little bit, a little bait, a little break from work and actually Cody's coming on over a little bit later on so that's gonna be fun and uh, I actually have some mail. One is actually from a girl that emailed me before, well there's actually two of them I think, and there was a really really beautiful email, thank you so much for sending it. It was from Nicole and um, we're speaking about mental health and everything and she actually, her and her friend started a bookish, like a hook bookmark business on Etsy and you know how you guys know how I feel about like independent businesses, uh, especially women run, not to obviously men as well but <laughs> so she actually sent me some as a gift uh, I haven't opened it yet I just opened to check that it's that because she was like following up um, there's a beautiful card inside where um, again I'm not gonna I will leave their Etsy shop down below and I think she actually set up a code that you guys can use it's called book roast book 10 for 10 percent off of entire store valid until the end of November so if you're looking for a little bookish gift for a friend this could be a really cute way to support fellow book roast watchers <laughs> is that isn't that the cutest like just supporting each other anyway anyway um so I, I don't actually know which one she sent oh so beautiful this one says expecto patronum and it has like such a beautiful little detail and tag horns is this horn is this antlers <laughs> I was like that doesn't sound right and then there's another thing. Oh, it's one of those like string ones. I actually have never had that before. Has uh, a tree, which actually was one of the necklaces I wore. I still have one, but I had like three necklaces with this type of tree because I really like it. It's very like druidy or like wood elf, night elf vibe if you play games like I do. <laughs> book thongs is they're called Ooh. <laughs> this one is called jude named from the folk of the air series by holly black oh cool but obviously they have various fandoms and these are really stunning and you can feel the love from them you know so thank you so much uh nicole and ingrid thank you for sending that my way it's really beautiful i hope you guys find joy creating these they're really beautiful thank you and then there is another letter which is a get well soon card that is so kind um this is from oh i'm so, so sorry like it even has like and amy amy <laughs> uh, it even has like pronunciation guides there but i cannot i can't read the first one i'm so sorry <laughs> but thank you so much for the get well soon card like i am still hoping to get some answers at some point that would be you know reading wise i have done a little bit like a tiny bit i think i've read maybe 30 or so pages of the kings of the wild i've just been a bit busy it's a very busy time at work so sometimes i work a little bit longer um i also am trying to like plan and uh, film some videos and get back into that and i have my parents visiting next week so i'm trying to like clean up and also i would hope to like pre-film for that week as well so it's a little bit hectic and I've just not really been into a reading mood. I've become, like I'm in that mindset currently. It's a bit too busy because I'm juggling a lot of things. With that, with the YouTube and uh, I've just started a pre, I've started a Patreon. So I'm finding that out how to work with the whole thing. But with all of that going on, I find to my head space to be too distracting to actually focus on reading. Um, doesn't help that I'm in the bit in the book that I'm not too invested in, um, but I'm hoping to do a little bit more reading at some point, full stop, <laughs> at some point this week. Um, I was really enjoying it at the beginning, but now I've just got to the point where it's a bit... Actually, I think I've just surpassed the part where it was kind of like annoyingly like, eh, like I wasn't, I didn't care too much about it. But now that I'm, they're basically the whole like crew like escaped the place and they're like setting out for the adventure so i'm hoping that i will get hooked back again to it and i think because it started very emotionally packed while still very funny but like very emotionally packed hello and then turned into more of a less emotionally packed let's say path and i think like the 
dynamic that it had at the beginning with the emotion slash like funny kind of grumpy funny that was like my jam but that is the reading update and i hope to get another one for you guys soon good morning it is friday um, early as you can hear and see. I legitimately walked outside for 10 minutes. We just nipped to the shop with Cody yesterday and because it's so like damp outside, <laughs> my hair is just went like shook. But yeah, we had a lovely evening yesterday. We just like chatted away and um, Massey stopped by and then Logan came back and then we watched the trailer for The Witcher, which uh, majority of us <laughs> bar um, Cody have actually played and I'm very excited about. Logan actually read the first book, I haven't um, and I think I'll probably watch the show before I read the books and then possibly read the books, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. But I don't know what I think about it because it's like, it's hard to tell from the thumbnails, isn't it? Because it's obviously so, um, you know, like pum 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 and and shwa shwa shwa, this is, this is the technical terms of how it is. <laughs> It's easy to make it flashy is what I mean and I don't know how it, like, it will actually translate but so far it's looking promising. I'm about to start work um, and get cracking. I have a lot of things to do so um, it'll be a busy one. But Logan's actually away for basically the whole Friday and the whole weekend. He's meeting his dad um, and he's going to like a football game which is hilarious because he knows like nothing so he was like I'm gonna watch like a documentary and I'm like that is the nerdiest thing to do. They're gonna like sniff you out as a nerd in the, in the crowd. <laughs> um, but yeah he's away. Hopefully health allowing I will manage to be very productive. I also need to um, start working on the read along. I mean like I've worked on it but now I need to like try and set it up <laughs> because I've never done what I'm trying to do now so um see how that goes but I should really get going so then I can announce it and stuff. It doesn't need a lot of time before I announce it because it's gonna be set up in a way that you won't be able to preset your TBR <laughs> so I don't think people will be very happy with that, but I hope you guys will enjoy when I actually explain you the what the idea is. But yeah, I actually have the, the book nearby so I can... Where I am? Okay, 130. I was right, so I'm page 130. I would love to do more reading today, maybe even during my lunch break. I want to read the last volume of The Sender, because that was on the TV, and also um, Lady Mechanica and the sender and get a lot into this as well. That is my goal. It's not undoable, but you see how like, this year, I swear to God. I'm also watching, just, sorry Jade, I just paused in a, in a weird angle, watching Jade as I work, well, watching slash listening while I do some emails and stuff. Thank you for making vlogs. They help me. <laughs> well, it is past midnight now. Um, I, as I said, I was planning on doing a lot of reading tonight, but my anxiety actually spiked up in the evening, um, just around like six o'clock, you know, conveniently after work. <laughs> Thanks for that anxiety. But it wasn't like too bad. It was, you know, from on a scale from one to 10, 10 being like, oh dear god. <laughs> it was like a 5 or a 6, you know, but um, I was still, when I get anxious, like I'm always jealous of people who get anxious and then they are able to read and get out of that and reading is what helps them. I've never been one of those people, like I cannot read um, when I'm stressed to save my life. I pretty much cannot do anything. I've done my best to just like distract myself and I went to where I always go for when I need a <laughs> distraction, which is YouTube. Literally not even anything that I'm interested in, I just needed something to focus on that I don't need to pay a lot of attention to, so... <laughs> Momo has been walking around the flat being super sad, which is also not helping my anxiety, because I'm like, why am I not enough for you? <laughs> but he's just sad, and he's looking for Logan, because he's such a Logan's boy, like, it's ridiculous. He was looking, like, behind the door <laughs> Oh, it's so sad. But he was sleeping with me as well, and um, 
I'm trying to make him like cuddle up with me and give him treats and stuff so hopefully he'll be fine um, I mean he will be fine but it's just so spoiled anyway I am I am not enough apparently I am not on par so that's great <laughs> but yeah because it's after midnight I will be attempting to fall asleep I feel like I'm sufficiently tired it's been a long week it's been very work heavy. I'll probably put up some Harry Potter audiobook for myself to put myself to sleep. I always do. Order of the Phoenix, I, did I mention? And I think they're just about to have the first class with Umbridge. No, actually not the first one, no sorry, he already had like detention and stuff so like it's about the detention part. Um, so not particularly like a chill relaxing part of Harry Potter before bed but because you know it's umbridge. Uh, I need to do reading. Good morning. So uh stayed in bed a little bit after I woke up to do some reading to compensate for yesterday. Um and I've done like 30 pages, so I'm currently on 160 of oh <laughs> Kings of the Wild. I'm like not not enjoying it as I read, but I'm like not fully invested either which is weird because obviously it's already like what did i just say 160 pages getting a little bit scared about that but hopefully it's all fine so plan currently is put some um face stuff on i was really hoping for my thank you cards to arrive printed you know the ones that i was really excited about last uh last week because they shipped on like thursday so they really should have been delivered at least today but hopefully Monday then. And I'm gonna do some emails. <laughs> Super exciting, I know. Because I would like to film a video. I wanted to film, like pre-film more. Oh, actually I could film two actually, yeah. So I can film two videos. One other video that I wanted to film was an owl crate unboxing, but I think mine just got like a bit delayed in the post. Like usually, and we shipped ages ago, so it's not owl crate's fault at all. It was weird because the tracking showed as it delivered as well, so I had to like follow up. But anyway, I got it now, but because it's a bit like late at this point, I might just open it here. Do some of those emails, check if I can actually find something to eat, that'd be great. Also yesterday I forgot to draw the card because like November started yesterday, um, but I'm still in denial because I said I'm gonna read everything till the end of this week to count for October, so I think my body and my brain is just in de denial, so forgot to do the cards. So I'm gonna actually draw, like, retrospectively. Every day I also go on Amazon recently for, like, 10 days or something to check if my pet hover that I use uh, is on sale. It is not. It's on full price again. <laughs> I just, I need to, I need to buy um, a new one just because, we're gonna buy the same one because I do like it. Oh, Massey told me what happened to it, but something's basically broken and it's not fixable or at least not fixable for the amount of money that I would like basically buy a new hover. If you're curious and if you also have pets, this actually works really well, especially on carpets. Like it really does get the cat hair out of it, but now for for like a month now whenever you hover with our old one which apparently like to be fair is like four years old or something so um it starts really stinking and it's not the filter because we checked that and like cleaned that but really bad um so we can't really use it so it's annoying i mean i use it but then i have to like air the room for like an hour because it lingers for so long that's another activity i do every day i bet she needed to know that <laughs> Checking for the Hoover. Hopefully like the, the Black Friday thing is coming up, so just another month to go with this stinky Hoover. <laughs> Change of plans for today in general, I think, uh, because it is half past one and it you can't really tell, but it's extremely dark today, um, so I'm not going to be doing any filming and you, that's okay. Plans change. I have done, however, a lot of admin work, so I was productive. And hopefully I can focus on trying to do some reading, maybe watch a movie. Um, my back's really sore, I don't know why, maybe I slept on it funny. But before that, I want to go ahead and unbox the Owl Creed box because, um, well, I have it and I want to see what's inside, so let us quickly go ahead and do that. I will link them down below. This was sent to me for free in exchange for an honest review. I know there's two books inside, which is very exciting. Oh, is this a sci-fi one? 
Dawn of a New World. I think this is a sci-fi one, which really excites me because I'm a big fan of sci-fi. If you know a really good sci-fi that I should read, please let me know down below as well. Um, okay, so first up we have... Oh, another one of those like book tins. Ooh, I love the design. Okay, so this one has like this very me currently vibe. I'm pretty sure you'll agree. Like gold kind of shimmers around the letters and it's like all black. So, you know, we got one before and I really didn't like it because... Not like really didn't like it. Like I wasn't a big fan because I just don't know what to like kind of store there. And I wish that it was like the size of a book so it can seamlessly fit next to the books but I really love this design so I'm conflicted <laughs> um this is until the last star in the galaxy dies you have me J. Christopher and Amy Kaufman what do you guys do with the with these like I suppose it's good for like storing pens and um magnetic bookmarks I thought I heard Momo okay next up we have the two enamel pens this month oh I suppose because we have two two books so maybe it's an Hamilton per book so we have this heart and we also have this radio um i'm sure they relate to the books next up we have magnetic bookmarks okay bookmarks look like and it's actually for saga which i absolutely love i am not the biggest fan of the art style however so but i love the cat one obviously they had to make the art style different from the actual comic because otherwise that would be like weird um but i love the cat one so i really enjoyed that i don't really like the people that much but it's obviously up to your taste very exciting to see a saga item though definitely not ya though so interesting interesting turn <laughs> Ooh, it's like a jewelry box it's like really satiny and fancy am i being proposed by alcrate hmm. oh shut up oh i love that okay so it's actually a moon sci-fi-ish type of what do you call this oh my god what do you call this you know i actually really really like it just because it's a moon and you can't really see like the design from too far away but it's very sci-fi i really like it this is a very very long chain like so oh shoot there's no clasp i was about to say i was gonna um change the chain because it's a bit too chunky for my liking for like a moon type of necklace but there is no... oh no, so I would have... And I don't really see the way to like break it. And I don't really have like those like plier scissors things to like break it. Oh, shoot. I'm sure there's a way. Oh, oh! <laughs> that broke really easy. So if you do want to change it, just break it. A little um, chain to put this on. Look how cool. Really like that. I do prefer hard enamel over soft enamel, but I love that it's a moon. You guys know I love it. Then we have everything, everything science fiction until someone makes it science fact. Sticker from Mary Lou's um, War Cross. I still need to read that. I really do want to. I hope you get this message by Farah Naz Rishi. And it kind of reminds me of Stranger Things because obviously he built this ha um, radio station. It's signed by the author. It is... Oh, cool! I wasn't expecting that. It looks like this underneath, so it has the zero and ones, the computer language. <laughs> seven days, seven days, the earth might end in seven days. So this is a queer uh, book. It's about a guy romance, I think. Um, but basically, the stations are reporting that a different planet has contacted earth and there's only seven days left to live or something like that um and it's about the people in the, that high school writing their wrongs in those seven days and there's like people meet other people and um get all together this reminds me a little bit of the both die at the end vibes and obviously helps that it's uh, blurred by Adam Silvera, so I feel like that's gonna be that kind of vibe, which I actually don't mind. I am excited to read that. But look at how beautiful this book is! What the hell? That is stunning. I don't know if this is a different cover from normal. I don't know if this. I feel like this is because I feel like I feel like I've seen it around before, and it was like pink or blue. Impossible love between two girls, one human, one maid. A love that could birth birth. A revolution. Um, so this is also a queer one, but a female-female one. Nice. So it sounds like this is a girl seeking revenge, and um, but the humans are like servants, and the other type are like maid. 
um, as in created to be, but then I'm assuming there's like something blooms be between the two. Um, this synopsis wise doesn't didn't um, intrigue me as much as this, which actually I would guess otherwise because this is more like sci-fi sci-fi, whereas this is like mm, actually. I do really like uh, more like realistic, if as if obviously, uh, mixed between like sci-fi and real world, so less of a far far dystopian. So basically, all the bully crouch stuff. I just don't know. This seems a bit like it reminds me from the synopsis. Oh, stars and something. What was that book? The oh, fire and stars. Yeah, that one reminds me a lot plot-wise so far of the fire and stars, which I did read. Then wasn't the biggest fan of. Um, if you've read it though, and or heard things about it that's like really good, and that I'm just you know synopsis can be a bit misleading. Let me know down below. Uh, but yeah, that is it. So a very very good box because obviously you get two books, which is all, always a win. Through the Enchanted Forest is the next theme, and we're gonna get a planner next time. Oh yeah, actually let me host a giveaway for you guys because I've been putting aside some items from the boxes in general for a very long time um, until it like comes together <laughs> into like a little box um, just because uh, if it's an item that I can pass on to someone who will enjoy it possibly more than I would um, I would try to do that so sometimes I give it to my friends sometimes I give it to my family and sometimes I put it aside for a little giveaway and it's just been sat there for a very long time and I think it's time to sort it. It's just because I get a lot of boxes, I have to be selective, otherwise I would legitimately live as a Niffler and as much as my place is still fairly cluttered, if I kept everything I would just be constantly so stressed because I, yeah, clutter stresses me out. Good news is that I have a bundle for you guys to win. Um, I will be... I will be shipping that into a repurposed fairy loot box, uh, but the items are from various boxes. I'll show you what's inside and then I'll let you know what you need to do to win it. I'll try and make it as simple as possible. But yeah, let me go through the goodies in no particular order. First up, there is this um, Stark Materials Tapestry. I think this was from Owl Crate. I think this was also from Owl Crate, but I might be wrong. Um, this uh, drawstring bag is actually a really, really good quality one. I just never really wear drawstring bags myself that much, but it's very like hefty and sturdy one, so perfect for if you have kids to give that to them, or if you're going for a shop and you prefer these rather than um, tote bags. So we got that, and it has like these illustrations there. Then I have these um, sticky notes for marking plot points and romance and humor and bits like that from Fairy Loot, so I'll pop that in there as well. Um, another item from Owl Crate is this uh, travel bag, but it has like all the compartments and I can definitely see this being useful. And it has this beautiful quote on the front, which is very fitting obviously for a travel pouch, to um, wooden bookmark. This one is um, from, oh my god, the Lord of the Rings. And this one I think is just like a generic feather, both from subscription boxes. I won't be able to tell you which one. I think maybe this is Book Box Club and this is an Owl Crate one. Then I have some Book Box Club bookmarks. I do really like them and look at the beautiful other side. This Vampire Twilight sticker from Fairyloot. Oh, these. Uh, I don't have a fridge that's magnetic. I have a fridge, I mean, I have a fridge that is covered with like wooden panels, so um, I don't really have anywhere to place these, but I think this would be really, really fun. It's like a word uh, magnetic Magnets. <laughs> Magnets is what I mean. Uh, could be really fun. This is a... Another thing is this Astravar's pouch. I actually really love it, but is I have so many, <laughs> like, so I have to be very selective and I only need a couple, so there we go. have these double-sided bookmarks from uh, Fairly's Finale box, actually. Another thing is actually from the Geek Gear box Cherry Wallace edition, which is... Oh, I love it so much. Um, it's the advanced potion making making sheet, like a replica. But the thing is that I actually have the replica book with this inside of it. So as much as I love it, I feel like it's just straight up greedy for me to keep both of these. So uh, I'll be giving that away for one of you to enjoy. Then I have a lot of pins as well. The ones you saw me unbox just now. Um, then another two from Owl Crate. So this one is the Phoenix one. 
and this one is um, what are you called? We hand the flame one. Then there's also a Gilded Wolves uh, luggage tag. I have an Alita pen. This was actually in Loot Crate, so it has this hand. And I also have this rubber keychain of a Niffler from a Gearbox. The sticker from the Sci-Fi Owl crate that you just saw me unbox. And these beautiful, stunning bookends from Owl Crate that I absolutely adore. But because of the type of my bookshelves, I don't have any bookshelves that really kind of need bookends and I already have a set that I absolutely love but they are beautiful I think they're Narnia inspired but obviously just very beautiful in general <laughs> there is this uh, selection tapestry slash um, kitchen towel whichever you prefer I see people use it as both um, from Feralu obviously it was never used just to clarify <laughs> um, then there is this pirate dark sheet of magic pillowcase from Owl Crate, a little uh, silk scarf, something, <laughs> of Wicked Saints with their map, and then the last item is this beautiful um, plastic tumbler from Bookbox Club with this Harry Potter potion-y design. Let me just double check that everything fits in the box. <laughs> Ta-da! It fit. Um, okay, so um, I think all you guys would need to do is to be subscribed to my channel, like the video just for the giggles, and let me know down below um, what are your favorite videos of mine to watch, what are the ones that you usually gravitate towards and why. Just shortly, you don't need to go into any details or anything, but and also please leave your um, Instagram or Twitter handle so if you win then I can contact you. I will just be um, um, randomly selecting the winner from the comments. So please let me know your handle on one of these socials because they're public platforms. Even if your profile is private, it means that you can comment it other than like emails are a bit more sensitive <laughs> for like data protection. Um, so yeah, just let me know which one it is. Like let me know your username plus if it's Instagram or Twitter so I know where to search for you. And let's make it like a week-long one so until the next vlog until the monday of monday the 11th of november will be when this ends and i'll try and um shortly after that see what the winner is ship it as soon as i can and this is international whatever you live as long as things post there but i'll see i'll see what it is um feel free to enter and may the odds be ever in your favor <laughs> I'm gonna go to the shops and get something to eat because I am becoming starved. I'm not, but I'm hungry. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll speak to you guys later. Hello, I am back. I'm back from the shop. I've decided that I really want spaghetti. I haven't had spaghetti in the longest of times. I'm gonna actually put a Harry Potter audiobook. I was listening to that when I was walking there as well. And I'm gonna try and cook something up. So I'm gonna make the spaghetti, obviously, with some mushrooms and I'm gonna have some chicken as well to shred into the mix. Um, and I don't think I have any white sauces, which is very sad. <laughs> as for the book, I'm currently just at the part where uh, they just spoke with Sirius and Sirius all pissy that like Harry doesn't want him to come because he doesn't want him to get caught. Oh, Sirius is ridiculous sometimes, but... Um... <coughs> what? She has been very vocal today. You've been very vocal. And it's just about the part where they explain the OWL result scale. So like when Harry got a D and then the twins were like, oh, at least it's not a T for troll. <laughs> so this is where I am at now. I'm very uncomfortable standing like this. So I'm gonna go <laughs> ahead and cook and also so hungry. And Umbridge herself. Well, be a good boy and keep your temper with Umbridge today. So Let's do this. Let's 
almost 11 o'clock and with some um, health breaks I've finished the sender. This is actually quite big for a comic um, but I finished it. I finished the sender. That was the end of the sender and oh my god did I love it. It was very very bittersweet. Very bittersweet which I love. I was kind of dreading a very happy ending because I kind of expected it just because I like to think of you know something that's gonna kind of disappoint me a little bit but I'm not gonna say what it was but it definitely delivered I think I love that kind of ending but probably not for everyone but I loved it and um the series is technically not ended but like this series is if that makes sense like um the sender is over but there's a sen ascending a sender a sender I think that and that amount years later kind of thing so I'm excited about that and then I also started Lady Mechanica and I was very uncertain about this and I didn't know if I want to pick it up but because it was on my TBR I was like sure I'll give it a go and I'm only like this much in but holy hell like what the hell how the hell I not read this before I was hooked from like three pages this is steampunk which is another reason why I was hesitant because steampunk has not been my favorite in the past but I love it I love the main character I love the emotions she's like part human part machine but she doesn't know where she's coming from and she's like famous in this town she's like one of a kind and um, she's like on a mission of finding more and she comes across this like a demon that the village people are trying to hunt and it actually talks back and she's like oh my god you talk and then like they kind of talk and oh my god it's like so good so far I love her attitude I love the art style is so pretty like like look at that it's so pretty i'm just sitting here with the boys <laughs> um but i'm gonna move to bed and continue reading there i really love it Hey guys, so it's been a day of filming. I've filmed three videos and I'm about to film a fourth one. I'm actually feeling really like you know that deep anxiety that you have, not the one that comes on like straight up like a panic attack. It's more the deep rooted one where you kind of feel the whole day like there's something stuck in your throat and body's a bit numb and tingly and just like a deep one. Do you know what I mean? Maybe not. Um, but so I'm trying to keep myself busy and distracted and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. <laughs> Something just dawned on me. Um, also, look, the files of the vlog you are watching are exporting. Vlog exception. But yeah, something just dawned on me. I don't know why I didn't realize that. My parents are coming over next Tuesday, so and tomorrow is Monday, and I've just pre-filmed four videos, and I have the vlog. The vlog is the fifth video. I didn't really do any cleaning this weekend, and as I told you before, I need to clean this place or I'll get an ass whooping. <laughs> so, um, and obviously tomorrow is work day as well. So I realized that I should probably finish this vlog off and start editing it and make it ready for tomorrow or for the most part because I, I need to do the cleaning tomorrow. Um, I think I'm gonna actually end this vlog here because I, I think it's gonna be already quite long. I can never tell. Sometimes I think it's gonna be super short and then it's like so long but I'm gonna end it here and I think I'm gonna skip the reflection time and the tarot card. I give this one a skip but hopefully I'll be with that next week and I'm excited to do some reading after this as well, but it is nine o'clock and I'm gonna... But I want to at least start editing, so I'm not too overwhelmed tomorrow. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, yeah, remember to enter the giveaway if you would like. I'll speak to you guys in the comments. Thank you so, so very much. Stay awesome, stay kind, and I'll see you next time. Bye!